Hey, we're back. Sorry, uh, I had a visitor to my trailer <laughs> out behind the high school. So, um, I I know I left off talking about the length of compare and contrast essays. So just make sure that you are aware of that. Um, like I said, this is the this is the rubric. Um, you can always pause this video to get a better look at what I am assessing you on. Um, that is your right. Go ahead. So there's that. Um, let me go back over quickly just how your essay should look. Okay. Uh, I made some videos about this. I'm not sure if everyone watched them. They're there online. Uh, the videos, in case you missed them, they are back in unit three. Here we go. How your essay should look. Setting up MLA formatting. Video three. Common formatting errors. So here is this one. Uh, I took someone's essay. Previously, I changed their name. And put it the way I, uh, it should look. You should um, have your name and the page numbers at the top right of each page okay you should have your name my name the class name the date for y'all the due date uh, it should be um, the, what, the 13th um, remember you're in paragraph everything should be zero before after zero zero line spacing double there should be no additional spaces between my name, your name, the header, the title, and then the paragraphs. And each paragraph should be um, indented. And look, we have one full page, two full page, three full, and four. This meets the requirement of three to four pages at full credit. Full credit. Okay, full credit. Um, if the essay was around here, that gets some partial credit. All right, a little bit less. If it's like that, that's that is mid level. All right. Um, you know, you're getting a quality grade for the amount of quality work that you put into it. So if you do bare minimum, then you're just getting adequate grade. And then you get even less of a grade if you turn in something like this. Because that's that's one, two, and a half pages. That's not a full three page. Okay. All right. Three pages is uh, all the way all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, which means that you are safe if you get over to the fourth page. But even though, though that's not exceeding though, I mean, that's not necessarily an A because um, it's not to the full extent of what you could do a full four pages. So to, so those who write the full four pages are rewarded with, with the full quantity of points, okay? Um, so then also remember, look, see how the lines are all straight this way. And they're all straight this way. Okay. You can get there by either clicking a line left twice or just clicking right here to justify. As I showed in these other videos, as I showed here and here and here. Okay. You want your sides to be straight 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 on those both sides it's like like looking at a novel okay all right and then one last one last final thing um the due date the due date for this assignment i uh i extended it by six hours um uh, i noticed a lot of people were turning their essays in sunday night and they wanted to submit their papers at like 1 a.m and, but the system was like cutting you off or showing you as being late. And I, I didn't think that was fair because, you know, that's your right to, it's still nighttime. 
is still uh, at night. So I extended the time by six hours. Technically, the assignment's not due until October 14th at 6 a.m. Okay, see this? October, October 14th, 6 a.m. So let's say you work all weekend, you work all week, you get home at 7 p.m. on Sunday, and you plan on pulling an all-nighter, and you're going to spend 11 hours writing this essay, then that's fine. You can do it. Um, you can submit your essay at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., or 5 a.m., or 5.59 a.m. on the 14th. But after 6 a.m., it's late. Okay, cool. So if y'all have any questions, email me. Um, send them to me. I'm still grading stuff. Um, I have 70 students. Sometimes grades get a little bit messed up. Um, people have just been, uh, you know, continuing checking their grades and sending me information if I miss something, which is totally fine. All right, continue to do so. Y'all take it easy. And I'll see you in the virtual world. Happy Halloween.